Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about the blend tool versus rotate tool, or rotate an item. And you can see the difference right here. All these stars are facing up, where when you rotate them, it rotates them around. So we're going to do both these. So I've got a circle. I've got my indexing lines, and all I have to do is hit P on the keyboard to put them in the center. I know my circle's in the center. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and put that in the center. I'm going to select both my items and I'm going to hit the letter T. It's going to put it near the top. I actually want it on that line. So we're, I'm going to hold down the, sh the control button and then that way I can't move left or right. Now I know from making this video or making these other objects, this will go around 12 degrees will give us 30 stars. Pretty well evenly spaced, so control D and make a duplicate. Double click on it and move your rotation to the center. A lot of times it doesn't look like it's in the center, but you can double check it and there it is. Go up here and rotate this 12 degrees. Hit another duplicate and it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You'll, you're going to have to double that and hit 24 degrees. And then it'll work all the way just by control hitting control D and making more duplicates. But what it's doing is rotating the stars around the circle, but it's also rotating the star at an angle. So let's move this here out of the way. Let's get our other circle and hit P on the keyboard. Now this time we don't have to put it in the center. But you have to have two items. So control D and any item will blend. Now go up to effects down to blend, your blend docker will come up and you can see nothing's, everything's grayed out. Nothing can happen because you only have one selected. So you need to get your pick tool, select them both, and now this is selected. We're going to change this to 30 so the stars will be equal. We're going to hit apply and it's blended it. Now right down here, blend the new path and we're going to blend right to that path. Now, go up to blend along full path and hit apply. And what it's done, now all our stars are facing the top tip is still facing straight up and down. As you can see, the, the one at 6 o'clock and, and 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock, the star is facing straight up. So that's the difference between the blend in the rotate tool. There's a couple other advantages about the blend tool because you can actually change it and add one more star or take away a star if you think they're too close or any item will rotate or will blend. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.